Greetings. Today I want to speak to you on the subject. Your God is my devil. You see, one man God could be another man's devil, and another man God can be another man devil. I'm gonna share with you how. You see, I grew up around my grandmother. My grandmother was very, 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 very poor. But one thing I can tell you is that she had a belief that there is a Lord and a Savior and a Redeemer. And she had a picture to show that Lord, God, Master and Redeemer that she believes to be her Savior. And I can remember quite vividly that picture frame, a picture of that man with the blue eyes and blonde hair and the wall as a matter of fact I should say and the board because it was a board house as a matter of fact my grandmother was living in uh, Watland Dab what they call Watland Dab something like what they call mud hut like in Africa and so on that was the first house since I was a little child growing up. I remember she was living in. They used to call it wattle and dab. Okay, so it, it, it made of wood and you dab you, 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 you dab it on the outside with um cement. But before cement there used to be mud. Okay. And then she moved to a, a board house. Okay. Then a board and wall, and then when we became bigger, we make it into a full wall house. Okay, but I can remember quite vividly that picture. And from as as a little child growing up, I would look at that picture and I would stare at that picture and I would stare at that picture and I would stare at that picture. Okay, and so from a very very early stage in my life, I asked myself with tears in my eyes, "Who am I?" and "Who?" Is God and so I set out on a, a mission to discover who am I and who is God for myself and that is what really drives me to Christianity and so I decided on, on my own to go to a church and that church was called the New Testament Church of God and the history of it is that it started in America by some white person I can't bring the name right now and the headquarters have always been in Cleveland Tennessee and the very first overseer that I can remember even when I was a very very little boy I can remember that because at that time and that was before I asked my, myself the question who am I I remember I used to follow my aunt and, and the others when they're going to church and so on and the pastor used to all the time say that I'm a special little boy and he just feel a certain way when he see me in church and he knows that God was going to use me mightily and this have happened throughout my entire life okay that preachers whenever I come into contact with preachers okay but from a very young stage I remember I can remember quite vividly going to a convention in the Victoria Park. At that time, the overseer was a man named Harry Paul. Just the name alone will tell you, that's not a black man, that's a white man, Harry Paul. And the people, they loved him, they adore him. And he was the overseer throughout the island. So it would have been my country and all the other um, country, the uh, uh, all the other islands around okay and he was the overseer and every time tithes offering and things been paid and so on you know part of it goes back to Cleveland Tennessee and so on okay and so with me searching to know who am I and me getting involved in secular Christianity I was looking to a God outside of myself and I was looking to a savior look totally different from how I look. Okay. And so 
To cut a long story short, all throughout my life, seeking the Savior and believing in the Savior, I would have done everything that was asked of me and what was required of me and what I was told to do to please this God. But nothing was ever working for me. But what happened from a very early stage when I decided to seek to know who am I and I joined the church, I had my first mystical experience of which I can remember quite vividly. Okay. And that's where the skies opened to me and a voice spoke to me and said, I am he who have been spoken of old and I'm come. And with the way we were raised to believe in a savior outside of ourselves and to believe in Jesus as a man 2000 years ago, I was looking up in the sky to see this Jesus. But no Jesus ever come from the sky in my dream. But I saw heaven and hell. And I saw basically two dimensions. Okay. And where I was, I was dwelling in a place of joy, peace, and happiness. And the other people, were, they were tormented. And I've come now to understand the symbology of it. When I come to understand the Bible psychologically. When I come to understand that it is my own imagination that's created my reality and created my personality. Therefore, as a man thinketh in his heart, I subconscious mind, so is he. Now, when I had that experience and I was calling to expect a savior to appear to me, instead, what came to me was a rainbow. And that rainbow covered me. And so from that very young stage in my life, I've always said, that there is a, a halo around me and it's in a rainbow color. And that's how I came to understand that the story of Joseph and his father giving him uh, uh, this colorful coat is not a piece of cloth. That's how I come to understand the signs of energy, vibration, and frequency. And it wasn't taught to me by anyone. That's how I come to understand the signs of alchemy. And it was never taught to me by anyone. I've never joined anything. I'm no member of anything. And so my brother and my sisters, that very first experience took place in my life when I was around the age of 17. And so I knew that there was something special about my life. But my life was a misunderstood life. I couldn't understand myself. And so I would always find myself going out in nature and I always want to be by myself. And so as time go by and I continue to believe in a God outside of myself and I continue to believe in the blonde hair, blue eye, Savior, which most of the people in the Caribbean and in Africa and most black people believe in, this Jesus of 2,000 years ago. My life just keep getting more and more miserable. And I knew that this was not what my life would shape out to be. And I was very honest at a, a certain church that I was with at, at, a, ta at, at, at a certain time where I used to preach. Because they saw a gift inside of me. And let me say, every church I've ever go to, they always want to put me on a pedestal. They always sense there was something about me, okay? And I wrote them a letter and I told them that this is not my calling, this is not my ministry, and I'm going to leave. That's when I was, I was keep seeking, okay? And so, when I was 30 years of age, I had another great mystical experience. And this is where I met the fire, the burning bush that doesn't consume, and the man that walks from that burning bush that doesn't consume, it's a black man, a melanated man, a man look just like me. And I became a little child again, uh, like a little boy. And there, there was a river that runs between myself 
and the man that walk from the ball of fire and give me my commission in another language except that I would understand that in English he's saying I am sending you and so my brother my sisters I can remember the earthquake I can remember the unearthly wind like a hurricane wind I can remember the fire and I can remember the water with the river that runs between us and that bridge. I can remember all of that to show you the element. And show you we dare facing each other in the spiritual realm. To show you how important it is for you to meet your ancestors in the world of spirit. And to let your ancestors teach you. How to believe in yourself, how to love yourself, how to embrace yourself. And how not to believe in a God, our Lord, our Savior outside of yourself because you'll be under a curse. Because that's Lord and Savior that doesn't reflect you, that doesn't look like you, that's your devil. So many of our people are actually serving the devil, worshipping the devil, thinking that they are worshipping God because they do not know their God self. They totally reject the God self. That's why many will always remain being the borrower and not the lender. They will not be above. They will always be beneath. Because why? They are out of alignment with nature. They are not reflecting nature because they are not in alignment with who they are. And so my brother and my sisters, things fell from my eyes. That felt like scales that was, was at my eyes. When that light passed across my eyes. And the boy said, this is for your eye. That was the same light that moved into the distance and became that great fire from which the man walked from. That melanated man, just in a dashiki. And give me my command. And from that time, I knew that when I reached the age of four and five, I would know what is my calling. That's why my brother and my sister, if you're listening to me right now, you're listening to a man who self-realized, a man who's walking in his purpose, a man who born for this time and this season, a man who was prepared from birth for this. I do not just call myself a mystic. I know that I am. I've lived a mystical life and I'm teaching you a mystical message of who you are teaching you that true salvation is self-realization i'm teaching you a knowledge that cannot really be known intellectually but must be by experience that is why you have to put your imagination to the test to help you to prove that imagination creates reality and that god in man is man's awareness of being. It is the light that is within you. It is the spark of the sun that is within you. You are a child of the sun, the S-U-N. And they swap the S-U-N to give you a S-O-N to believe in a God outside of yourself, to keep you in idolatry. Idolatry will keep you under a curse. It will keep you in mental slavery. It will keep you in a poverty of imagination because you will never believe in your true God self. You'll be looking at the outside for a savior. And in doing so, you will be worshiping someone else to be your Lord, your master, and your savior. And that image which you serve, those who represent that image would rule over you. They will govern your mental they will always seem to be ahead of you as a matter of fact they will always be a hundred two hundred three hundred years ahead of you because you are actually giving them your power you see everything must be done based on choice so no one is putting a gun to your head you give them a choice but their system has set up to lure you into this trap because they understand how your subconscious mind can be easily programmed from the time of birth up to the age of seven and eight. So my brother, my sisters, your parents 
God might be your devil. Your friends and family God might be your devil. And that is why sometimes you have to be the lone wolf. That is why sometimes you have to take this lonely path. Because they're going to reject you. They're going to think that you're crazy. They're going to think that you lost their mind. Because they have a slave mind. Okay. And if you do not believe me, just go back to 2020 to 2022 and you'll see. You'll see the deception. you see the illusion. you see the delusion also. How people are so delusional. you see that they're low vibratory beings. How low they are vibrating. you see how they're living at the animal level. But you have come up a level higher. And I want to take you higher and higher. Right up to the ninth power. Okay, the power of the sun that is within you. So, as I was sharing with you. Okay, that I knew that when I turned 40 and 5. That I know my color and know my purpose. And to cut a long story short. That's where I awake within myself. To discover that I am God in flesh to discover the true virgin birth. To tell you that the virgin birth of 2,000 years ago is the greatest lie that has been ever fed to all of humanity. To show you that Jesus, the blonde hair, blue eyed Jesus, is an idol that they plant in your mind. And every time you call on that name, you are defeating yourself. That is why I omit Jesus out of the Bible and give you a blank space to write your name, which is I am. Therefore, when you do that, you are taking back your power. When you do that, you know that you have that spark within you. And you're looking to that spark within you. You're not looking to the image of a white man, a uh -uh. Uh, a, a Jewish man or any man for that matter outside of yourself and so my ancestors visited me and showed me the truth that true salvation is self-realization is you realizing who you are and also show me the truth of other beings more powerful than those of us Having this human experience because they are operating from a different realm. And when I met that being, it was a black being just like me. Sometimes I hear people describe aliens and, and say they have large eyes and, and they, they, they make they look funny looking. Yes, they're a little bit different than how we look, okay? But they're extremely powerful extremely intelligent and they have a higher science than the science that we have here and so my brother my sisters if you can get more in alignment and get more in touch with your ancestors in order for you to do that you have to get in alignment with nature you have to understand how important it is that you know the laws that governs all of humanity and the laws that governs the universe and work according to those laws so that you can raise your vibration and your frequency. It is very important that you understand that you are a mass of energy and you must operate in an energy body. It is very important that you know that you are magnetic and you are electrical. Therefore, you must operate in that side of you that, uh, that is more magical. So the electrical and magnetic itself for you is more magical. And it helps you to know that you are a magician. It helps you to know that the savior in you is a great magician and a great metaphysician that will take you beyond the physical. So they trap you in this physical world with a physical outer Savior. And they keep you in self-doubt and self-hate by you rejecting your own image and seeking an image outside of yourself. So when people think that the Catholic 
are bowing down to image things that make by wood and so on no the real image is planted in your mind in your imagination so you swap the swap the power of your imagination to create and to build with an idol called jesus so many people are worshiping the devil which is keeping them in their lower self it is keeping them on a low vibration and a low frequency and so they are creating unconsciously not understanding the science of inner alchemy not understanding how the mind works not understanding that no book can be written that wasn't first a thought or first an idea or first imagine so it is you living a defeated life it is you living in hell that is why they put a mark on you they put a mark on you from a child and then when you become of age 2020 show you they want to put they want to repeat that same mark upon you to show how much they own you how much they can control you because you are a low vibratory being and they are higher vibratory being than you. You see, we are living on many different levels. There's only one mind. There's only one power. So the rich man, the poor man, the beggar man, the thief is one mind, but different arrangement of the same mind. You might have a piece, a, a piece of steel that is magnetized and one that doesn't magnetize, but all is steel. But one is going to attract. While the other is not going to attract by make up the same material. So, when you understand there is only one power, you would also realize that this one power can be used to achieve your every desire. And it can be used creatively and it can also be used destructively. Therefore, they are actually pointing you into a direction whereby you would use it destructively by not knowing that your real identity is your divinity. That is why you're looking to an outside divine being to save you, to redeem you. But I'm saying to you that the redeemer is within you. So, when you discover who you are, that is when you become powerful. That is when you realize your God consciousness. So, outside of you dwelling in your in your God consciousness, you can be serving and worshiping your lower self, which is basically the devil. So many people do not know that the devil is their lower self. Many people do not know that the devil is their limited self, the earthly state of matter, which is at the level of the animal. So it's in a low level. It's in a place of hell. That is why when you understand ascension and descension, you will understand that your higher self, God, your higher self, descend into generation and must ascend into regeneration. You must be born again. You must be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You must experience the exodus. From spirit to human experience. From spirit to flesh. That's why in the Bible Paul tells you. Have you begun in the flesh or do you end up in this? Have you begun, begun in the spirit or do you end up in the flesh? And it tells you anyone who do not believe. That God is coming in the flesh. The Antichrist. If you do not believe in the God that is in you. God come in flesh is you. Not a man 2000 years ago. That came in flesh. You are the one who came in flesh. And if you do not believe in that. You are against yourself. You are against your Christ self. Your God self. Your creative self. And you will always live a miserable. Contradictory life. A life in fear. And doubt. And that is why when we look at the religious world. We see that our religion is all to keep you in fear. Our religion is all to control you. But I'm saying to you that you have to discover your God self so that you wouldn't worship a false God. Because as I said earlier on, 
one man God can be another man devil. And another man devil could be another man God. So my brother and my sisters, those who are worshipping a God in their image and likeness that look just like them, they are holding to their true identity. They believe in their image and their likeness. They actually believe in themselves, whether consciously or unconsciously, because they are beholding an image of themselves and they believe in that image of themselves. But when you are worshipping an image that doesn't even look like you, you have to be very much delusional. I've always asked myself, how can two complete different races on this planet have the same God and share the same God and the same God doesn't have two complexion. It has one complexion and it represents one of the race. Yet there are people who say to you that this God is colorless. But why is he being presented to you in a, with a color? And why he being presented to you as a person when it is just a personification that represents your own human imagination? Because everything is based on energy, vibration, and frequency. And God is a frequency that will bring you into an intelligence that will teach you of your true identity. And you become one with that frequency which is that intelligence that knows all things and will bring all things to your remembrance so my brother my sister the, the brainwash is real deep and the worst slavery there is is not knowing who you are not knowing that self-realization is true salvation and I can go on and on and on. But the message I want to get across to you is that one man God could be another man devil. And I'm saying to you that the Jesus of the Bible that was painted to you as a blonde haired blue eyed man, I was painted to you as a Jew of 2,000 years ago. As a melanated person, I'm saying to you, that's your devil. That's your devil. And from time to time, many of your ancestors have come back to tell you to wake up and to get rid of the slave mind. To wake up and overcome. To wake up and improvise. To wake up to know who you are. They've been always saying it and they will continue to say it. Man, know thyself. Stop believing in a God outside of yourself. That's the devil. When you believe in a God outside of yourself. As I bring this message to you, there are churches throughout this island. And all these people that go to these churches, they will think I am a crazy man. They will think that I've lost my mind because I'm a, I'm a, I am on a higher vibration and frequency than they are. Many are dwelling at the level of the animals. And so my brother and my sister, those of you who are listening to me, I want to say to you, it's a blessing you being on this path. It's a blessing that you have the 66 books of magic in your home. It is a blessing that you have spiritual recipe for better living in your home. It is a blessing that you have my work in your home. And you have my presence in your home. I guarantee you, if you would only say to your ancestors that I believe what this man is saying, I believe his experience. Reveal yourself to me, ancestors. If you would say, I need an extraterrestrial visitation from my ancestors in the world of spirit, they will come to you. But of course, you must purify yourself. Of course, you must get rid of all the negative things that you are carrying around with you and be willing and ready to get that visitation that will help to enlighten you to see through the matrix to see all the deception of Hollywood to see all the hidden and dark agendas 
that's out there to keep you enslaved and to keep you in a perpetual state of mental slavery. So with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I want to come to a close here because I can go on and on and on and on. But I want to say to you, if what I'm saying, if it really makes sense to you and it really inspire you, and you have to subscribe already, I'm definitely encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. And I would also encourage you to get my latest book, which is called Spiritual Recipe for Better Living. And along with that, the 66 books of magic, the Overcomers Bible. And as much of my books as possible that you can get, I will definitely encourage you to do so and to invest in yourself. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, and you like to follow me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me at Black Math Guru. And if you would like to be a part of my Patreon community, you're most welcome. However, I have a course that is called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to create your reality consciously. And along with that is a bonus course and self-concept. And I now have the Inner Sun store with all of the clothing and all the other items available to you. So you can check that out. Okay. Also, if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one with me or uh, if you would like to be mentored or coached by me, you can reach out to me by way of email. And as long as we come to a decision, we can definitely work together. However, just before I leave you, I just want to remind you that if you feel strongly led to support this work, that we have a paper and that the link is always down below. So with that being said, my brothers and my sisters, I just want to say to you, peace, love you all, I'm out.